Good morning, my friends. I want to use this. So I used this yesterday because I wanted to try it and see if I liked it. And I filmed a TikTok on it, but it's so pretty that I want to do another look with it. Not only is it pretty, but the formulas, they are actually, oh gosh, they are actually stunning. There was some thought put into this palette. Look at this color. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, let's do this right. Wait, we have to swatch this one, by the way. I grabbed that one. Let's swatch it right here. I mean, it's what I wanted this collection to be. I'm not going to act like I'm the biggest Batman fan and I know everything, but I love the illustrations and I always have and I've always loved the colors and I just feel like this says Batman. So let's do a look. I'm, I, I love, okay, I'm excited. Remember, I already did a look with it yesterday and I'll post it later on TikTok, but I loved it so much that I want to use it again already. I also want you to, really quickly before I get started, I want you to realize that I don't always post about the Kylie collections because they don't speak to me and they don't perform the way that I wanted them to perform. So you'll notice that we didn't talk about few palettes. So just, just keep that in mind. I, I don't always just get on here and squeak about everything. So keep your eye on what I talk about because it's usually good stuff. Okay, we're going in with a lighter base today. And the reason why is because we're gonna be using blues and I want those blues to be extremely true. I want them to look like they do in the pan on my eye. So the lighter the base, the truer the color. Oh, and I am gonna hop off today and film something. Um, do y'all remember the By Terry? These, I don't know where my pink one is. I gotta find it, it's somewhere around, but these, oh. So I've actually been using these and mixing them with my foundation to kind of adjust everything. And they're a lot easier to use than say the LA Girl mixing pigments. Um, and you really only need one. So I have, I wanna film that video. It, of course, I'm gonna go into more detail than what I just did. But I just got excited and wanted to tell y'all now. And also I want y'all to know that I'm gonna hop off and film that once we're done with the eyes. Okay, really quickly, one more time, because this is, this is a kind of a really cool thing. Um, remember, you can get Westman Atelier in this cell. By the way, this isn't sponsored. It was sponsored on TikTok, but it's not here. It's just, it's literally a cell and it excites me. And I want to tell you, I don't even make money off of that code. I just want to tell you all again. And it's, it's really, really cool. I mean, Kosas, we love Kosas. Exa, I mean, I talk about those Exa correctors all the time. Um, uh, Mob Beauty, please just, just go 20% off. And we're, you're getting the early access because of my code here too. So just, just go, just go check that out. Okay, I think that's everything I have to say before we get started, but this is exciting. I wanted to tell you again. So by now y'all know to trust the process, right? Y'all know, you can trust the process. I'm already gonna get wild and we're gonna grab this shade. Now I haven't used this one yet, so I'm not sure how pigmented it is, but it looks pretty pigmented. Let's go ahead and grab that on an E28 and press that. Yep, that's exactly what color I wanted. I'm gonna press that across this top part of my crease. That way it peeks out when I relax my eye. We're gonna transition it with a more cool tone shade, probably this one. But let's build this up first. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and just press back and forth. Okay, so now we're gonna use a little smidgy. You can still see the blue on there, but ooh, I love how this new camera focuses. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is front face camera, by the way. And it'll, oh, grab it again, grab it again. There it is, oh my goodness, I love it. So we're gonna take that much. You know what, I just love it because I don't love the upgrade, but if it's, easier for you to see something and I can help and educate better, I'm in. So we're gonna take that and we're just gonna start by pressing that through here and that'll be our transition shade. And I know right now this looks very, well, very Mimi from the Drew Carey show, but it's actually gonna get a little bit more grungy once we start to add the black. And I'm still just taking that same shade I just showed you 
and kind of tapping that back and forth just to transition and cool it down a little bit. Using the side of my brush, picking up a little bit more. And now that I have one minute slides, I guess I'll just hop into this. And I'm gonna pick this more on the side, but more on the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to press it here. And then we'll start to kind of smoke it out in just a second. It's gonna get real grungy, real batty. <laughs> Look at how pretty. So I'm telling you, I'm pretty hyped about this palette. So this is what we call a sequin formula and it's a matte, but it has big flecks of shimmer in it. So it is gonna be a matte. I'm not putting a shimmer in my crease and you can kind of see it there sparkling. So we'll just take that, oh, I'm out of control, and I'm just gonna start to press that into the socket. And with black, please pick up the tiniest amount. I would consider myself almost professional, and I still am very careful when it comes to black eyeshadow because it can get out of control so quickly. So let's just push that into the socket. Look at that beautiful depth it's adding. It's gonna have some navy in there now. I'm gonna make it a lot more grungy than this, but I'm already absolutely loving it. Just still taking my time to build that up. Okay, so we're gonna need more eyeshadow base in the center here. And I don't mind if it turns blue from kind of the blues and the blacks that we have going on here, because we're gonna be applying two blues on our lid. And I'm trying my best to kind of steer away from cut creases, because I feel like that's always what I wanna do. We gotta switch it up. Challenge ourselves. I'm telling y'all, grab this color right here on an E28. And I talk about this a lot, but with shimmers, I pick up quite a bit. It just makes me so happy that it focuses. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna press it here. Notice that I'm pressing and pulling, not swiping back and forth. I'm really working it into that base. And then I'll start to tap just to kind of soften it into the crease. And then I'm gonna grab the same color, but on an E27, same exact color, grabbing it on the side of the brush. There it is. And from here, I'm just going to do kind of the same thing this way. By the way, YouTube taught us that fallout is terrible. It's absolutely not. Um, when using shimmers, you want to really load up the brush and you might have fallout. It's not a bad thing. I don't know why we decided it was a bad thing, but that's why I'm very specific on showing you how I'm picking up the product you need to know exactly how to pick up product on br on the brush. So it's just gonna happen with shimmer sometimes because you really need to load up your brush so you can get that impact. Just remember, fallout, it's not bad. Now let's grab this shade. Grab a whole bunch of it. There it is. See that? Okay. Now let's take that and push and pull in the center of the lid. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna be able to tell me what now. <laughs> this is so pretty. And I'm just gonna lightly tap it into the darker blue, just so it kind of transitions into the other colors. That is just stunning. Okay, but this look with a black lip, I, I absolutely love it. I'm so excited. I love makeup so much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you something. So you're gonna notice that I started my wing from down here. If you have hooded eyes, this is it. Valentino liner. And notice that I'm starting here. We turn to the side. Oh yeah, you can see it really nicely there. So I'm to the side. And a lot of times with hooded eyes, it's not about, you can't really go up and I get that but you can definitely go outwards and then extremely close to the lash line. Just kind of pull that out and I'm telling y'all, 
I'll say I will die on this hill. <laughs> this liner. I've tried them all. I don't know why it's so magical, but it really is because it just doesn't bleed and it doesn't move around while you're doing it. So you're really not even, you're not even having to worry about the top part since that is usually covered with hooded eyes. So we're just focusing on this outer part. We, and it's so much easier to start from here. And then I'm gonna correct the wings a little bit more in just a second, but I'm trying to teach you this. These are pretty magical. They're from Shiseido. I'm trying to find the black one. There it is. They're so tiny. They're so tiny, but they're so pigmented. So then just fill in this little bit of water line here and we're kind of cheating. And we're just kind of doing that wing from underneath. It's a really good hooded eye wing liner tip. And if I ever come back on and this is clean underneath here, remember, I'm just using micellar water here, Garnier pink top. It dries and makeup can go right back on top of it. That's why I suggest the pink cap. And then I'm using my C30, which I think fell on the floor, which I will have to go get another one. Oh no, here it is. It didn't fall on the floor. That was something else. So I'm using my C30 brush and just cleaning up underneath here. Um, I don't show it every day because I'm trying to teach a million different things every single day. But just in case you're wondering, that's what I'm using. Let's throw on our lashes. I love these, by the way. I need some more. These are from House of Lashes. And I'm going to get you the link for them. They're just so pretty and they're not too long and they don't overpower my extra spicy looks. I love it. I'm in trouble. Apparently I am in trouble. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hop off now and film this. I'm excited. I'm so excited because again, all of the foundations I have, there are about five that are a perfect match, but most of them, and I correct them later with makeup, but if I don't want to correct them with the bronzers and the blushes and I want them just to go on my exact undertone, I've been adding this and it fixes it. So if foundations tend to pull maybe too pink on you, you would use the yellow one. But that's what I'm going to film in the video. But I wanted to tell you really quickly where I'm going and this excites me. Spicy price, but remember, it's skincare too. It's, it's so good for your skin and you're just mixing it with foundation and it doesn't separate foundation and it's just so good. <laughs> Okay, let me go film it. This is something I struggle with, and I'm sure some of you do too. I have a pinky neutral undertone, and most foundations run very yellow. Banana and a pajama yellow. By Terry CC Serum, you'll see that it's pink, and that's exactly what my undertone needs. So we're going to put it there, and then we're going to mix it up. Now look at how much that helped. Look at this compared to this. Now this one is disappearing into my neck. And there we have it. It added the pink that my undertone needs. Now we still love mixing pigments, but I know how complicated they can be. And this is kind of like a one-stop shop. There's so many different shades. If you have yellow, there's one for yellow. There's one to lighten. There's even more I'm not going to show here. If you want to darken your foundation, this one's amazing. I know, spicy price. Think of it as skincare and it's so multi-purpose. Now if the mixing pigments still confuse you, these might be a little bit easier to understand. Okay, I'm back and I just fixed the foundation. So for reference, this right here is quite yellow on me and I love this formula, um, but now I mix this in, which you're gonna see in the video. Honestly, these are so amazing. They're so amazing for so many reasons, but I think my favorite reason is obviously that little bit of glow it adds. And even if you're, uh, oily. These aren't that glow and that texture that we're used to that we try to avoid. They're just so lightweight and you can fix your foundation. If you're like me and you're pinky neutral, you get this one. Um, if you need to add some more yellow, there's a yellow one. Okay. I just love them. I'm excited to post the video. Okay, I had to hop on a call. I'm already back, sorry. Um, I know that y'all have already went wild. This is from the NYC. I'm gonna tag them. NYC, sparkle, sparkle NYC. I'm gonna tag them. Ooh, it's so sparkly. All right, let's finish up this face. There's a timer going off. Mama's downstairs. She's actually making a cake and I'm very excited. So we're gonna go in with our EXA concealer. Again, you could get this in the Credo cell today. And this is the shade Peach. And the reason I'm gonna use a corrector today is because blues and cool tones, they tend to bring out 
quite a bit of darkness underneath the eyes. That one has blue on it now. Everything I know and, I know and love is covered in blue. Okay, this isn't right here. So we'll just grab our Nisa Beauty Angle Concealer Brush. And then we're still gonna put our Make Beauty Concealer on top. And this is why I hyped this concealer up, because it's going to be able to cover this corrector beautifully. I'm going to actually do a little bit of highlighting. I'm going to go, I'm going to go a little bit heavier with everything else today, because I just, some days I just feel extra glam, and I just want to put on extra makeup, because it's fun. It's fun to blend it. So we're going to grab our Nisa Beauty Angle Concealer Brush again. We're going to work this in, and see how thin that is? Just goes, see, it just covered that corrector. <laughs> Told y'all. <laughs> I just want y'all to remember that I, I'm very fortunate and I'm able to try so many different things. So when something excites me, like this concealer or these right here, sometimes I know they're a spicy price, but I've tried everything and it works. Okay, I'm really quickly, it just came to me. Um, I have a lot of new supporters. So really quickly, let's talk about how I'm pressing this concealer in and not swiping with the brush. I'm actually gonna get more coverage because I'm using this brush. And a lot of times damp sponges, they separate makeup. Not always, but I mean, it's, it's a thing that always happened with me and I prefer brushes. But you're also gonna notice that instead of swiping or even pulling, I'm always just pressing that in. And that just makes it very smooth on the skin, very even. And for concealer to last longer and not crease, it needs to be very even across the skin. So tapping really helps distribute that evenly, as evenly as possible. Whenever I'm feeling my full coverage spicy life, I grab my Huda Beauty powder. This one's a lot more coverage than the other ones that I use, so I don't use this one all the time. I use it when I'm just, I'm ready to have makeup on. If you want makeup on, this is the powder. It wears beautifully, but again, it's very full coverage. So I'm gonna take that, press that in with my puff. I still can't believe that we have a puff. We have a puff. And it's a nice puff too. So we're gonna use another one of the Shiseido pencils. This is in gray. This one's my absolute favorite. And just because I want more coverage, I'm telling y'all, it's just that kind of day. I'm just sitting here. Um, I've already filmed my content. So I can just sit here in peace and paint. That's what I like to do. This might be a lot for you, but I have so many different tutorials for everyone. I want everyone here on our page to be included. But today we are, <laughs> we're painting. And I actually really like this. This is very pigmented. And I'm pressing that in with the C41. And I'm even gonna take it down my chest just for a little bit more coverage, just so everything's a little bit more cohesive. By the way, that's just the gray eye pencil underneath there as well. We're gonna smudge it out with some more of the blue, but we're not there yet. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the black through here. Let's darken this outer part, tapping it. And then I darken through here a little bit more. It's little things like this that just make such a difference. So remember the blue that we put in the center? Let's put some here. This is really making my brown eyes pop. Ooh, look what I just found. This is from M Cosmetics. I feel like I've tried this before, but I don't remember how I felt about it. It's the Corselet. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's their Sculpting Powder Bronzer in Silhouette. Ooh, it's pigmented. I feel like it might be a little too warm for my skin tone, but I do like how pigmented it is. It reminds me very much of a very refined, elegant MAC Give Me Sun. It's pretty though, just wish it was a little more red on me. All right, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So we need something with red. This has quite a bit of red terracotta vibes. Grab a little bit of that. And we're just going to go on top. I just thought I just took all that orange out. And now it matches the redness that I have naturally 
down here. I've messed up a time or two. <laughs> So I went to film something. I'm gonna have to hop off and film it, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Mine did come a little bit broken. Oh, you can't see it too much, just a little bit. But this is actually stunning. And I wore it yesterday and it does not add any texture. I was kind of blown away by it. It's so smooth, but it was really cool because I put it on first and then I put blush on and I wanna film it. But I'm gonna film it for TikTok, which I will post here. But I'm just kind of excited for it. Okay, dose of colors. Beachy. This is their Velvet Mousse. That's what I have on here. And then the lip liner is, I don't want to see. Okay, it's Nude Mood. I thought it was travel, but it's Nude Mood. Now we're going to grab this as our inner corner. Grabbing that on an E27. It just makes me smile. I love this palette so much. Okay, I filmed a video on this, but this is the gloss that I put on. It's really pretty. It actually took out a lot of the orange in the lipstick, and I'm not mad about that. Remember, blue cancels orange, so even think of that when it comes to your lip gloss. Okay, so I, I love all of the collection, but this speaks to me the most. And if you want to get something, this is it. I feel like they didn't just slap a name on it and say, okay, we're going to do a collab. Somebody thought this out. Somebody took their time with the formulas, and somebody, somebody cared, because this is... This is beautiful. The formulas are beautiful. The layout's beautiful. You have some really nice neutrals, um, some just really fun pops. I just, I love everything about it. Somebody put some thought into this palette. All right, I love y'all so much. I am going to go film a couple more videos and go downstairs and probably make some kind of latte. I'm in the mood for a hot latte because still chilly here and by chilly don't don't you make fun of me all i know is warm weather and by chilly i mean it's probably about 59 outside <laughs> i love y'all so much and i'm excited to post the video on these tonight i gotta go edit that i'm excited i love y'all with all of my heart and i'll see you in the comments there